hello students today we will discuss about the mineral requirements plants need source of nitrate no3 negative nitrite no2 negative for making amino acids to make the proteins amino acids are important because they join together uh, by the peptide bonds actually the amino acids join together to form the amide or the peptide bond and uh, to form the polypeptide chain and ultimately the protein will be formed needed to form the enzymes and the cytoplasm of the cell nitrates are absorbed from the soil by roots magnesium ions are needed to form the chlorophyll of course mg plus 2 is the central atom of the chlorophyll so mg plus 2 is necessary for the chlorophyll formation and if there is mg plus 2 lack or deficiency we can say the leaf will not appear as green so the different color brown or the yellow color of the leaf will be formed so this metallic element is also obtained in salts from the soil sources of mineral elements and effect of their deficiency the substances mentioned previously nitrates and magnesium are often referred to as the mineral salts or mineral elements if any mineral element is lacking or deficient in the soil then the plant may show visible deficiency symptoms many slow growing wild plants will show no deficiency symptoms even on poor soils fast growing crop plants on the other hand will show distinct deficiency symptoms though there will be vary according to the species of the plant if nitrate sign in the short supply the plant will show stunted growth so the reduced growth will happen if the nitrates are deficient in the soil so the stem become weak lower leaves becomes yellow and die while the upper leaves turn pale green if the plant is deficient in magnesium it will not be able to make magnesium the leaf turn yellow from the bottom of the stem upward so this is called as chlorosis actually this turning of uh, leaves into yellow this is called as the chlorosis farmer and gardeners can recognize these symptoms and take steps to replace the missing minerals the mineral elements needed by plants are absorbed from the soil in the form of salts for example plants needs for potassium nitrogen might be uh, met by absorbing the ions of the salts and the potassium nitrates salts like this come originally from the rocks which have been broken down to form the soil these are continuously being taken up from the soil by plants or washed out of soil by the rain these are replaced partly from the dead remains of the plants and animals when these organisms die and the, their bodies decay the salts they contain are released back into the soil this process is explained in some detail in arable farming the ground is plowed and whatever is grown is removed there are no dead plant left to decay and replace the mineral salts the farmer must replace them by spreading animal manure sewage sludge or artificial fertilizer in the measured quantities over the land these are manufactured fertilizer in the common use ammonium nitrate or the super phosphate and compound containing nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so ammonium nitrate the formula shows ammonium nitrate is a rich source of nitrogen but no other plant nutrients it is sometimes mixed with the calcium carbonate to form the compound fertilizer such as a nitro chalk containing uh, the ammonium nitrate and the calcium carbonate so super phosphate these fertilizer are mixture of minerals these all contain calcium phosphate and some have the sulfate as well so the compound npk fertilizer n is a chemical symbol for nitrogen p for phosphorus k for potassium so we can say npk fertilizers are made by mixing ammonium sulfate ammonium phosphate and ammonium chloride potassium chloride in varying proportions they provide the ion of nitrate phosphate and potassium which are one of the most likely to be below the optimum level in the agriculture soil so these are the water cultures and these water cultures are very necessary for the growth for the actually the artificial medium for to provide the artificial medium for the plants to grow it is possible to demonstrate the importance of various mineral elements by growing plants in water cultures a full water culture is a solution containing the salts that provide all the necessary elements for the healthy growth such as potassium nitrate for potassium and nitrogen magnesium sulfate for magnesium and sulfur potassium phosphate for potassium and phosphorus calcium nitrate for calcium and nitrogen for these elements plus the carbon dioxide water and sunlight needed for photosynthesis a green plant can make all the substances it needed for the healthy existence so uh, we can say a lot of techniques are being used and the hydroponics is a soil less culture 
or we can say that is used by the astronauts to uh, to culture or to uh, to uh, we can say to plant the different foods uh, on the uh, their their different uh, spaceships or the aircrafts so this was all about today's lecture and uh, in the next lecture we will discuss about different questions and the next chapter that is human nutrition so kindly subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon for these type of extensive and easy made videos for you guys thank you